Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about an individual that has a signed force of will and I'm going to poke a little bit of holes in so he flushes or attempts to flush the force of will, the signed force of will by Teresa Nielsen down the toilet, toilet for social media clout um, and he gets a lot of it. People, including many women, are commending him for his actions. Now, of course, I am always, you know, I've been a fan of Teresa Nielsen's. I didn't know her political leanings. And to be honest, when it came out, I was quite surprised because I thought that she was a hippie. She kind of looked like a hippie, and I knew that she was a lesbian, so I thought she would actually be very liberal. But then when she came out to be, you know, our, I don't even know if you can call her conservative, but when it came out that she had conservative, was follow following that's all they took was to follow then they the hounds of uh, the knights of autumn got their banners and started to uh go on a, a hunt if you will and that's very sad and obviously wizard of the coast has said um recently that they are no longer working with Teresa nielsen which i found very funny that four cis males would now make a comment on on actually it was gay pride month so way to go for cis males on stream uh, but anyway my my point is you are having people do more and more extreme obviously gary thompson has done this autumn was the one who started it with the no turfs on girl and then gary thompson blacked out his force of wales and blacked out Teresa nielsen's name I don't believe that uh, defacing artwork of any type, you can argue if this is artwork or not, I think it is artwork, that's not really freedom. Uh, when you deface uh, some the artwork someone has done as a, I guess, a political statement or as a statement on the game, that makes you look very silly. I actually had a conversation today, and you know, I get so many just random crap emails i can't even tell you just absolute crap emails and this reminds me of one of them for many reasons he is a tcg player a worker and he's flushing down Teresa nielsen's card even though they have profited quite a bit from Teresa nielsen you know force of will survival of the, no not survival of the fittest no, Survival of the Fittest. Mm, no, that was not Teresa Nielsen. I'm thinking of the one with the Jaguars, my favorite artwork. Something, something. It's a Jaguar eating the monkey. But Teresa Nielsen, the Guru Lands, how much money did they make selling Guru Lands all the time? Or the Judge Lands, they made a bunch of money. So it's very hypocritical for an organization that has made, I don't know, 100000 maybe more money. Uh, definitely they've sold probably a million dollars because you're talking about very high volume cards like force of will guru lands uh and even the judge promo land these things are incredibly expensive and they're high volume so i'm sure tcg player and loves selling Teresa nielsen cards They've used her to sell, you know, Force of Will, uh, the new Force of Will artwork. Uh, they used that to sell more, more boxes, more packs, everything, right? That's one of the chase cards that you can get in the set. So it's very sad to see this type of behavior for attention. And now, like, if I, here, here's how I feel. If this dude didn't do this and he just did it in front of people and there was no recording and he wasn't trying to get social media, he wasn't trying to get clout over, I, I think, all right, that's interesting, right? But everyone who's doing this is doing it to a high value card. Uh, in this case, this card is signed and they're doing it to get clout. So they're always recording, always recording, always recording. And that tells me something is wrong. Because if you did actually believe what you were doing, you would do this you know, in private. You would do this um, not to make it public. Now, if you want to make a statement, go ahead. But this is really clout chasing at its finest, and our community is addicted to it. Um, I mean, just look at the personality of Wedge uh, and the pit bulls. And you know, I've gone over this a million times. It's just virtual signaling, clout chasing, and it's not... 
it doesn't really make too much sense for me because you're clout chasing and what? Like, here, here's what I say. Like, if I could be the best patent lawyer, that would be worth doing. Like, you know, recognized global patent attorney. If I could be the best marketer or own a very successful marketing agency and hire a bunch of people and have employees, I think that's worth doing because you're providing livelihoods and, you know, you are a recognized expert in something. If I had to be the best magic player, I would just kind of, I would cry every single night. Because it's kind of like, what are you getting clout to, at? Like, would I rather be an expert marketer or an expert magic player? Blank, no, I don't want to be an expert magic player. Do I want to be an NPL? No, no, no. I make far more money than an NPL. Unless, again, of course, their name is Autumn and they can win the thing with, you know, a special invite and special treatment. Then that's a little different. So if I was, you know, a individual in this special classification, then of course it makes sense to join because I just win all the time. And when I don't win, I can say, oh, I'm depressed. And then they give me money anyway for doing nothing. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. You know, Teresa seems like a really nice person. She wrote a letter uh, to her fans and it was a very nice letter. And I will read you the letter. And I don't think this is coming from someone who hates other people. I appreciate so much the tsunami of heartfelt messages and support flowing in. I am forever grateful to all of you. This is the June 2020 update. It feels impossible to properly express how deeply touched I am. I thank you with all my heart. Besides sharing my deepest gratitude with all of you, I need to give you a heads up that our normal time frame of filling orders within 24 to 48 hours is a wee bit backlog, which is a good sign. It means people are buying. We're working long hours to catch up, but it's likely going to take us into next week to get into our normal fulfillment times. Regarding artist proof featured in the store, I wish there was a mass update button on this store antiquated platform so I could tell people which sets have have not more than 50 artist proofs issued. In the early days of MTG, the sets from Alliance through Weatherlight, I was given anywhere between 50 to 250. There was no consistency. From Tempest on, I was given was sent 50 of each Don Foil card and 30 with the most recent inclusion of foils. Occasionally, the count was off by two or three cards. There is highly likely of inventory being off within the store. Da, 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 da. Hundreds of beautiful messages have, sent, have been sent via numerous methods and platforms. I appreciate all of you who have taken the time out of your day to share your stories with me. I'm looking forward to pouring through those after we have fulfilled our orders. Thanks so much. Peace and blessing. So unlike the Wedge Burger, she actually tries her best to fulfill the orders. And she had a flood of orders because people will come out and say, Hey, you know, I don't agree with the Coast. I don't agree with Autumn. I don't agree with Gary Thompson. I do not agree with this dude from TCG Player flushing her car down the toilet. I'm going to support an artist who is a proud lesbian. And that's it. So here's the difference in my opinion. Now, this is going to offend a lot of you guys because I know you guys get mad at any little thing. Um, I'm okay with whatever you want to be. You want to be a purple dinosaur? You want to be a blue toad? Go for it. If that's what you identify as, go for it. If you are a trans blue toad purple dinosaur hybrid. All right. As long as you don't push your views on others too much and you don't harm them that's it that's all i ask i don't think autumn has done the, those two i think autumn is pushing her opinions on the magic the gathering community and for the large part i mean we have the knights of autumn that should tell you all you need to know the last time that people have the knights of whatever the knight templars was in a game assassin's creed and they weren't exactly what well, the templars are good so Assassin's Creed was kind of weird. It was a lot of backstabbing. But anyway, the Knights Templars, I assume, were not the good people. Yes. No, they were... No, were they, were they actually the assassins? And A lot of them didn't, didn't make sense to me. Look. Uh, 
this letter as written, would Autumn ever write this letter to her fans? No. This is a heartfelt, a heart-to-heart -heart letter. From this letter, you can tell what type of person Teresa Nielsen is. I have not seen this letter from Alex, the, the cheater who had to be banned for life. I've not seen this letter from Noah, the predator, self-admitted predator. I've not seen this letter from any of these people, from Autumn, or from Gary Thompson, or from the guy flushing the car down the toilet, because they're not, they want to spew hate. It's really interesting that these very inclusive individuals are spewing hate all the time. And they never have anything good to say. And look at Teresa's letter. It's all positivity, rainbow, and sunlight. Tell me the last time any of these so-called transcendent uh, magic players has ever written something like this. She thanks her fans, and you can tell that she's trying really hard to fulfill orders, and she's trying to explain that, you know, some of the orders might be messed up, but I'm sure that she'll make it good. You got wedged, man, dude. The, for seven blanking months, he won't send you a signed card. <laughs> I mean, you got some people in this community we speak so highly of, some people speak highly of, and they... Man, their ethics are totally whack. Uh, it's totally out of like... And then you have Teresa. And then Teresa is the villain in all of this. Autumn is not the villain. Like, I found it very weird. Does Teresa have the Knights of Teresa? And do the Knights of Teresa attack and ruin people's lives? Like, I mean, I mean, somebody saw... I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know any of Knights of Teresa. But I do know that Autumn has Knights... And they're white knights. They're mostly white cis male knights or allies, if you will. And all they do is attack, ruin lives, lose people's jobs, lose people's careers. You know, they kind of ruined T. Wu's life, right? Well, I mean, T. Wu looks like he's having a good life now in Hawaii. But his magic life was gone. And they just banned a whole Facebook group. That was the Knights of Autumn. Luckily, the Knights of Autumn were very... Um, they moved on to the Black Lives Matter movement now. So they're not uh, as supportive. So they moved. And this is one of the things that I will also say is the attention span of the average Magic the Gathering social justice warrior is very, very small. So they're going to go on to the next flashy thing. And now, of course, uh, Wizard of the Coast is in the hot water because they don't hire African Americans. For There's none of them. Like... It's like, wow, this is really, you must have made a effort not to hire qualified African Americans because there's no one on your staff. And that, that's very shameful, Wizard Coast. Very shameful.